In today's video, I'm sharing the biggest do's and don'ts when it comes to sharing your real estate listing on social media. You ready? Let's get after it. If this is your first time of the channel and you wanna know how to grow your real estate business without being salesy or spammy, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. When it comes to sharing your real estate listing on social media, there are some big do's and some big don'ts. So let's dive right into what you should be doing with your real estate listing when it comes to sharing it on social media. The very first thing actually starts way before you share your listing and that is professional photography. Please, 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 I am begging you, do not take your own pictures unless you are a photographer. Photography is the very first thing that will attract buyers to being interested in your listing. So if those pictures are mediocre, you've got the toilet seat up, you're showing in the mirror, they're dark, everything just is not looking too hot, buyers are just gonna keep scrolling along. So you have to start out with getting those professional photos done so that you can then use them to market your listing on social media. Number two is do be a storyteller. You don't want to just put out basic information that everyone already knows that's located in a different portion of the listing. You want to draw people in. You want to tell a story. And I find the best way to do that is to picture a buyer avatar, someone that you think would be buying this home and write to them. That does not mean any type of discrimination. You always have to be careful about that. But you want to write to one person and you want to tell them a story. So maybe you paint a picture of what it's like to entertain in a fabulous backyard that has a pool, or maybe the living room is just grand and gorgeous and large and would be perfect for movie night. Whatever it is about the property that you are marketing on social media that stands out and is different from other properties, that's where you want to tell the story. And I'll give you a tip. Talk to your sellers, find out why they bought it and I will tell you most of the time why they bought it is why someone else will buy it. So a lot of times you can incorporate that into the story that you're telling about the property. Number three of what you should do when marketing your listing on social media is keep it simple. You don't wanna overcomplicate this process. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated because people have a very short attention span. So when you're marketing that listing and you're building your marketing material, let's say you're jumping into Canva, don't overcomplicate it. Don't add a ton of text all over the pictures or if you're doing some video clips, don't plaster a bunch of text all over that either. You really just need to keep it basic because if you have the fantastic pictures, people will be drawn in by what you write in the caption, which shouldn't be too long either, but you don't need to sort of make it complicated and messy on the actual pictures or video themselves. It just distracts from what you're trying to market, which is of course your listing. The fourth do for social media is when you're at the house, either meeting with the sellers or if you're meeting your photographer, make sure that you get some short video clips. And I understand, although I think you should be in at least one, if you're not comfortable with it, don't worry about it. Just get a few short clips of the house, pan across the front, Get the living room, get the kitchen, get the backyard. You could also get the primary bedroom and bath if that's something special. Just short little clips so that then when you're ready to market your listing, you can take them. You don't even have to use all of them. You could break them up a little bit so it gives you more content to share. You can make them into a reel, add some music. You could post it on TikTok or you could just do it in your Instagram stories if that's where you're most comfortable. But you definitely want to get some video clips. All of these platforms are all about promoting video now so that will give your listing more exposure. Let's jump into the don'ts of promoting your listing on social media. The number one don't is do not just copy the description that you have in the MLS and post it on social media. I don't care if you're including a picture too, that is not the place to just copy and paste the MLS description. Social media is a different platform than the MLS and people are either looking to be entertained or educated. So when you are getting ready to post your listing on social media, you need to then make it more story oriented like we talked about earlier. Or if you want to just post some information about the listing, don't just regurgitate what you have in the MLS. 
make it short, bullet pointed. You can use an emoji depending on how you like to do your social media and then make short little features about the property. Do not just copy the listing description. That's not the place for it. It belongs in the MLS. The other don't when it comes to marketing your listing on social media is do not just post to one platform. Different people are on different platforms and depending on what audience you are trying to market to, you need to do it to all of your platforms because you could miss someone. Maybe it's somebody like me who really doesn't do anything on TikTok, but I'm very active on Instagram and Facebook. I would miss it completely if you only posted on TikTok. So you need to create marketing for each different social media channel. It shouldn't just be that what you post on Instagram, you post the same thing on LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat. No, you have to make custom marketing for each different platform. And I recommend doing that in batch format. So when you're creating the marketing for your listing or if you have an assistant who does it, it should be done all at the same time. So you have your coming soon, you have your active, you have your under contract and you have your sold. That way it's all ready to go and it's out of the way before that listing even hits the market. The last don't is I know a lot of us, myself included, we have a flyer made up that will go inside of the listing once it goes on the market. Please do not post that on social media. They are filled with text, which is does not perform well on social media. And a lot of times when you just upload that PDF or if you take the PDF and convert it into a JPEG to then upload to your social media profile, they're too small for someone to look at as they're scrolling by. So even then, if you capture their attention long enough to stop, then they're trying to zoom in to be able to read everything. That is not the presentation that you want to give to your listing. You want to make it stand out, make people stop scrolling and pay attention to what you've posted. So make sure that you're posting the right format on whatever platform you're posting to. If you got some value from today's video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. Until next week, I hope you all take care.